In this Madden 22 video, I'm going to be breaking down a great little blitzing concept that you can use to get pressure against a blocked running back out of the gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure that you are checking out my Patreon membership. If you want to get this ebook, uh, the Nickel Triple ebook is available in the Patreon membership alongside of 14 other offensive and defensive ebooks. It's the best way that you can support me as a small creator. It's also a great way, in my opinion, for you to become a better Madden player. Uh, just by getting the membership, you're going to get access to everything that I have. All the exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, ebooks, all that stuff for just 10 bucks a month. For literally $10 a month, you're going to get access to so much content that I believe will make you a better Madden player. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. But like I said, we're talking about the nickel triple. Today we're in the Steelers playbook, but I think you can also run this out of Chicago, out of the Baltimore playbook as well. Very, very fun formation. I have to tell you this, nickel triple I think is one of the most uh, creative and just fun formations to run. It also bodes some of the best pressure in this game. Now the way that we're going to send this pressure um, it's actually, I'm going to give you kind of two different setups today. So the first one is, the first one is really for the running back blocking. The second one is for um, situations where they might block the tight end and the running back. We're going to show you some stuff with that uh, today as well. But real quick, it's, it's actually really simple. You could do this out of any play in the formation, any play in the formation. I personally really like to run this um, out of you know, again, you can do this out of anything, but I personally really like to run this out of uh, cover two, cover three cloud, some of those sets, because it makes it really easy with the flipping of the formation, because that's one of the things we're going to do. So cover three cloud, and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to come out in a play that has five out. So for today, we'll just talk about Z spot, and then we'll also shift in a second to another setup. So like I said, this is designed to come in against a running back blocking. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip our formation. We're going to globally blitz. And then from here, um, the first way we're going to run this, I'll just show you this, and I've showed you this before. Um, it's just a simple A-gap pressure, as you can see. We're just going to use that middle linebacker. And as you can see, if they send five out, we're going to have very simple uh, A-gap pressure. So again, just flip your formation, press coverage if you want to. And then you could create, you know, all kinds of things, right? If the running back goes to the flat, you you take him to the flat. But the cool part about this is we can Mabel on the bunch side and still send five, right? So we might be able to do something like this, um, or we could walk the safety down into the box, and we could turn this into a uh, cover three blitz, something like this right here is a really good way to run this as well. Point of, bottom line here is again, if you just stand right here. Uh, you should get pretty significant pressure either either off the edge or on the uh, up the a gap. Now, when you notice that your opponent is blocking your running back, or if you want to make this a little bit more consistent against a blocked running back, all you need to do is contain, and then you just need to stand on the opposite side of the running back right there. You don't want to be too far. Um, you want to be right here. If you go this, if you go too far, you see that it's going to shift the blitz angles. You want to be right there. Okay, really important. Now what you're going to notice here is if they block their running back, what should happen is we should get this contain logic to really start helping us out. As you can see right here, it gets super fast pressure against a contain within this because that's a defensive end or defensive lineman that is coming off the edge. So again, we're just going to flip our play, globally blitz our linebackers, and then we're going to show, or not show blitz, but uh, QB contain. And again, you just want to kind of stand just to the right of the center, but not too far that it's going to mess up the blitz angles. And what you'll see is this is super fast pressure uh, against the gun bunch. So that's kind of the biggest piece of this tip. But I got a couple other situations that I want to talk about in terms of pressure and how it works against the gun bunch. The nickel blitz is a great little play here. And the reason why it's so good is because I can basically do the same thing. Right, but now what I can do is I have a nickel corner. So I'm doing exactly the same thing, except here in this situation, I'm responsible for the running back still, and then we're gonna actually send one additional player, but we can take this right linebacker on the right side and man him up on the running back. So you see, this is what the play looks like. Now, if the running back blocks, I should still be able to get decent pressure from this contain. We got a little bit glitch. This is one of the biggest flaws, I think, in the formation of bunch is the way that the formation is constructed for whatever reason, they can give these random uh, challenging deals within this blitz angle to the right. So what we can do is we can go to our nickel blitz and what we can do is we can simply flip the play 
as you can see here. And now we have a much better angle for our nickel corner uh, to be able to come off the edge. And then we can obviously adjust our coverage. I like to show blitz out of this and kind of bring this guy over here. I think this will significantly help your coverage out of this. And then from here, what I personally like to do is I still like to man the running back up with that backside linebacker. I'm going to stand over here now. And what you're going to see is we're going to have basically the same concept. We're just going to have an additional plus one player over here. So you see the pressure comes pretty good off that left side edge. Now the beauty of this is what they're going to do is if they notice that your blitz is going really well as far as like it's coming in consistently, even if they block their running back, they're going to start blocking their tight end. And let me show you this five man pressure. This is against a block tight end. As you can see, what you'll see here is it does get really good sheds, but it doesn't always come in. Very rarely will this come in against a block tight end. So this is where, again, that nickel blitz becomes very, very helpful because now let's say they block their tight end. Well, we're in the nickel blitz and we've got a really sharp cutting edge over here, right? So, you know, we do something, I wouldn't probably do that, but we'll do something like this here, kind of get this guy into the box just so he can make a play. If you want to, you can just flat out user this guy. Um, that's fine as well uh, if you just want to simply use this guy. But what you should notice here, tight end blocks, and we still get a pretty nice little rush off of that left side of the formation. Now, again, you know this is where the nickel blitz really comes in handy. And I'm going to show you another way to kind of run the same basic idea in just a second. But again, we're just going to flip out of the nickel blitz. We're going to uh, not show blitz, I apologize, but we're going to press. And then we're going to bring this guy down so that he is over the top so that they're in good position to be able to play coverage. But what we can do is now look at this linebacker. Remember, this guy's a linebacker, so we can man, and that's actually a safety, right? So we can man him up against the tight end relatively easily, keep our same integrity as far as like the, the pressure front, and now take a look at this blitz. This is a really good little play right here uh, out of this formation. You see, we still have really good alignment because the nickel triple, I think, gives you one of the best alignments in the game. And what you'll see right here, is your pressure actually got caught up then we're going to show it one more time uh, we got caught up but you see the idea and see the concept kind of being uh, unfolding so again we're nickel blitz and then all we're just going to do is flip we're going to press coverage and then qb contain here just kind of just you don't want to move him in too much that's a mistake i've been making so just a little bit right not too much but as you can see here now we can kind of play around with our placement a little bit more as well but now you see block the tight end and as you can see we're getting some pass offs and disengages off of the edge so this is a great little play now if you wanted to kind of keep it a little bit more simple you could go to the cover two man um, another one of my favorite plays in this formation and what you'll notice out of this is we're just going to blitz this safe we're going to show blitz blitz that safety and then go ahead and press coverage we're going to stand kind of right in here and now if they block that tight end a lot of times you'll get this double pressure off of the edge so the beauty of nickel triple in my opinion is it, it can create significant pressure regardless of the formation it has answers for when they block their running back or they block their tight end and pass protection and the beauty of this is it also has i would argue the best alignment out of anything you really get solid alignment in terms of how you align against uh, trips or spread or bunch compression you can flip really easily and make a lot of adjustments really quickly out of this formation so i would really encourage you if you want to learn more about this defense head on down to the description you can join the patreon by joining the patreon you're not only going to get access to this ebook but you're also going to get access to every madden 22 ebook that i've released i've got 14 in there right now i'm working on some other ones as well but we got a lot of content over there in the patreon so if you really want to take your game to the next level head on down to the description and click on the link and go check out the patreon membership